Hi there guys, welcome to my new channel. As you may have guessed by the title of this video and also the channel's name, this channel will be mostly focused on Albanian language, history and its other aspects. I decided to create this channel and make this video because many people, mostly foreign friends, kept asking about the differences between the two dialects. Gek and Tusk. How different are they? Some Albanians told me they are like different languages. Is this true? And so on and so forth. And I would just send some Wikipedia links or write these long paragraphs or whatever and think it's a bummer there isn't an analytic YouTube video explaining this. So in the end I said, you know, what the hell, I'm going to do it myself. And here we are. Okay, I guess that's enough of an introduction for now, so let's get into the video. As you all may know since you are watching this video, the Albanian language has two main dialect groups, Geg and Tosk. Each of these also has its sub-dialects, which begs the question, where does one start and where does it end? Well, generally, the line dividing these two dialects is the Shkombin River. In the north you have Geg, in the south you have Tosk. Albanian subdialects are like a spectrum, so you have the tongue slowly changing bit by bit. In this case, what makes a subdialect Geg and what makes a subdialect Tosk? Is it a matter of just north and south? Well, not really. Geg and Tosk, besides obviously having differences in pronunciation, vocabulary and accent, they also, most importantly, have difference in grammar. Yes, grammar. Two other things also are important to mention. The rotation in Tosk, which doesn't happen in Geg, and also the areas of influence, which Geg is mostly under the Latin area of influence, while Tosk is under the Greek area of influence. So what does this imply about the branching of the dialects? In this video we're going to look at two specific dialects when compared. The Kugus subdialect for Geg and the Lushnia subdialect for Tosk. The reason I chose these subdialects is because they're both Eastern subdialect, one Eastern Geg, the other Eastern Tosk. Also, I chose both dialects to be inside Albania in order not to focus much on word differences, but on other aspects. I mean, not only do you have other videos which talk only about the word differences, but it's the easiest thing for Albanians to explain when you ask them regarding different words in Geg and Tosk. And not to mention you have word changes from village to village, let alone dialect to dialect, so it's not that important in this case. I might make a future video where I specifically speak about word differences if you guys want to. Let me know in the comment section below about that. But in this video, we will concentrate on other aspects. So, to start that, we will take a look at one thing that normally doesn't differ much between languages of the same family, let alone dialects. The numbers. Let's first listen to the numbers in Tosk. Yeah. Two. Three. Quatre. Pes, Jast, Stad, Tet, Nand, Diet. And now let's listen to them in Geg. Ni, Du, Tre, Kater, Pes, Jast, Stad, Tet, Nan, That. As you might have noticed, there are some differences between the numbers. 
Geg has much more nasal sounds and they are much shorter, but nothing too drastic. Now let's try to listen to the numbers from 10 to 100, both in Tosk and Geg. First Tosk. Viet. Nizet. Triviet. Duzet. Pesdiet. Kjarsdiet. Shtadiet. Tetdiet. Nandiet. Nishint. Now in Geg. Vat. Nizet. Trivat. Katrdat. Pezdat. Jardat. Shtadat. Tedat. Nonvat. Ishin. As you may hear, the way both say the number 40 differs between the two dialects. In the Tosk, you say Duzet. So basically, 220. While in Gag, you say Katerlet, which means 410. The other ones are the same. Let's look at other things now, like sound changes. Gag is much more nasal and has much more vowels and consonants, while Tosk is more consonant and is easier to the ear. This can cause some trouble in understanding each other, and in my opinion, is the biggest setback I face when trying to understand a faraway dialect, be it even of my own dialect. So two people from the opposite ends of the dialect spectrum, or the whole linguistic spectrum of Albanian, have it rather hard to understand each other. But on paper, this kind of sound drift doesn't come much in play. What does? So we arrive at the only major grammatical difference between the two dialects, the loss of infinitive in task, which in turn uses constructions with a subjunctive instead. How does this look like? Well, let's translate this sentence. We want to go buy bread. Task. Ne duam te shkojm te blame book. Now gag. Na do na me shku me ble book. As you may notice, gag has preserved the infinitive, while task uses the subjunctive in its place. Let's hear another translation now. This time, yesterday I have worked nine hours. Task. Die kam punuar nant or. Now gag. Die kam punuar nant or. So, in the perfect past, the verb ends in ar in task, while in gag. The infinitive is used once again. To real now include all these differences together and show not only in the different segments but also a whole different thinking process between the two Dalek speakers, I told both of my friends to translate themselves like they would say it in real life. This text. My mother brought home some strawberries. She was going to use them to make it a dessert. However, I couldn't wait, so I decided to eat one. She scolded me afterwards. First in task. Mamaya ime bruri në shpi, disa lule shtrydhe. A do t'i përdor te, që të bënd një vërësirë, Ama nuk mund të prisja, kështu që hëngra një. Ajo me qërtoj më pas. Now in gang. Nona jeme, pruni të shpia të dradësa. Do t'i përdorte me bon amelsin. 
Prop se prop, nuk mund prita. Kështu që vendosa me hongër një. Masa nej, a ju më bërtiti.